Hey guys, George from Soundtracks here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about what DDE, or Dynamic Digital Exhaust, is, and why you want to have it on your models. Now first off, Dynamic Digital Exhaust is a name we've used for a feature that we've had built into our decoders for many, many years, going back to the DSD-150s. Now what this did is this adjusted the tone and intensity of the exhaust chuff based on what the motor was doing. So when you were pulling a heavier train or going upgrade, for example, your steam locomotive would now sound like it was working harder. So you'd hear that accentuated chuff and you'd hear the intensity of that chuff get louder. Now with the Tsunami 2, we've been able to incorporate this feature across the entire product line, including our steam, our diesel, and our electric decoders. So now to demonstrate, we're gonna take this locomotive and we're just gonna move them forward at about speed step one. And that way you can hear how the diesel engine changes. So we're gonna unmute. We're gonna move forward speed step one. And you can hear the diesel engine notch up and it'll kind of stay there because the locomotive is light. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate a heavy train. So we're gonna bring over a couple of cars that we have, one of which is lovingly nicknamed the lead sled, where this is this really heavy locomotive frame that we have that we've taken all of the motor and everything out. We've just added some weight. And this is a heavy freight, uh, flat car that we've added some extra weight to to simulate the heavy weight that you would have on your train. Now starting at about the same place here, we're gonna unmute our locomotive and we're gonna move forward at speed step one. So you can hear the prime mover notch up, but you can hear it really working harder now as it's working to pull all that weight of that heavy train behind it. Now again, without changing anything on my throttle, I'm gonna release the weight of the cars here and you'll be able to hear that prime mover drop down because now it's no longer working as hard as it was. Now this is what dynamic digital exhaust does for you. So while you're operating on your layout, you can hear that diesel engine dynamically changing up and down based on what you're doing. So when you're running your locomotive and doing your op sessions, picking up your freight cars and so forth, you don't have to also be playing the prime mover like a harp. So that's a wrap up on dynamic digital exhaust. Now we've done a few other videos to show you how to play with the settings and to get that dialed in correctly for you. And we've also just done a video showing an overview of how it works across the entire product line, including our steam, our diesel, and our electric decoders. For it, links to those, check in the description below and you can watch those videos. For more information, please visit our website at soundtracks.com and check out the user's guide and see all the cool things that we built into the Tsunami 2, the Model Railroader's Reader's Choice voted favorite sound decoder.